When the rain hits my window, I take it <laughs> Me some, me and Timberland We sang a dangle We so tight that you get our styles tangled Sway your do si do like you loco Can we get pink at night like Coco? Can we get pink at night like Coco? Can we get pink at night? Can we get pink at night? By your sweet princess Zuka. Can we get pink at night like Coco? Like like Coco. and everything I do is selfless. I am intelligent. I don't expect anything in return. Yeah, I'm very generous, so generous. Yeah, Jesus fucking H. Christ. Did you hear what I, what I told you about my mother? Stepmother Hilga, the entire day of the attack on her today? But guess what? Yeah, what? Last time, because Pavarotti said, it's family, invite her. That was the previous house before I left. Yeah, the house we actually got kicked out, by the way. It's your family. Yeah, because of the children, man. So I invited her. I told you earlier, that way. And then she said, well, it's not my fault that you live all the way to Mexico. Which made no sense, of course. Because usually she would come up with the idea, oh, we want to go visit now. Now we go here and then we go there and blah, blah. She and her, uh, Walter. How exciting. And certainly with that response, this snotty way talking to me, as I, after she had kicked me out yet again, I told you today, pregnant and all, yelling, yeah, in front of the child to imagine. Although it could have been that he was asleep, by the way. But he was there, how could he know? Nasty words, imagine that. After that, I still go now a year, a few years later and invite her and say, you know, we don't need to be in agreement with everything, but we could be civilized, I said. So in vision of this, and I did not make any mention of her kicking me out, uh, welcome yeah, to visit your grandchildren whenever you want. And she snorted me uh, back in an email. That's not my, not my fault that you live all the way in, or, did, or was it on a phone call? I don't know. Horrible? I'm for saying the least. Yeah, Jesus again, fucking ate Christ. Yet, eventually I left Mexico, went to the States. Eventually, here you go again. Eventually we talked on Skype. And I don't know who expressed what, but I think she expressed the vision to come and visit. And I let her once. Jesus fucking ate Christ for holy shit what you are. Wait, it's not her fault that I live all the way in where? And now she wants to come to, it's not her fault that I live all the way. I mean, do you understand the incoherence? I'm talking narcissism here, that's the point, that you get the incoherences of narcissists to prepare, to be safe. Why else would I share these stories? Yeah, Jesus fucking ate Christ. I invited her and she came to visit. once not twice I watched I kept quiet and I only did it for the children because there is a grand you know grandchildren yeah grand I don't know I just felt I was obligated to do so because I think it's the right thing to do to face things but I observed oh yes I did not left her out of my sight, not one moment, with the children, just to sort of behave. And guess what? What, Prince, as we know, you do. Of course she put out a stunt on me, but it was not a loud stunt. Why do you think I needed to get rid of that dumb couch, the used one <laughs> I had in my studio? Yeah, that futon, because she was like the one person who was there and slept in there. And I got it for her too. I couldn't handle that thing anymore after that. And not anybody would ever come to my studio again. 
after that, I sold the futon. Now, before I gave sessions, I also had healing sessions, all sorts of things, but then, not anymore. But then my trio came and everything was off. So the stand was a small one, but it was just the same. Now she wanted to bake a cake. Or oh, do you want me to talk about the salmon first? Not that I thought she was a good cook. I bought salmon and that was like expensive for me at the time. Salmon needs a special way of cooking. And what did she do? She overcooked it. Bulgar, stupid bitch. <laughs> I didn't say a word, but she's like, man. So you go to a fancy steakhouse, you know, everybody knows you can't have a steak overcooked. And that's what you would do. Yeah, well, uh, well, I should have cooked what she wanted to make herself useful, I guess, because she was bored. Oh, <clears throat> remember that I told you she was drinking with Karchmidt and she was also drinking with Walter. But she came to my house and that's what made me see it. She's definitely not an alcoholic. Because alcoholics augment their intake and can never let loose. And now that Walter was gone, she'd ask for white wine. Yeah, and of course, Corriente, Bulgar in a way. And the cheapest, she said. The cheapest, she said. I don't know why. She drank white wine, yeah. But I don't know how much. I don't remember. But but not much. And never anything else. I, I mean, I didn't have anything else. And she didn't ask for anything else. And... So, like from drinking hard alcohol with Kaltschmidt and with Walter, now she could slow it down. Of course, she was bored and she was lonely and she had wine. And maybe also sad, lonely, but nothing else. Because she didn't want it, she could have. So, it's not that she was like not really present as she was there. Now, what is this stunt again? Tiny little thing. She was in the kitchen now, she wanted to bake a cake. Okay. And she had her recipe. I don't know what cake. I don't remember. And now she started asking me, remember, mommy, mommy, I want my mommy. She screamed at night time. Yeah, she lived with Walter. I told you today. And sweated the bed. Maybe she peed the bed and she didn't tell me. He said she sweated it. So the sheets had to be changed more than once often. You're like a little babysitter. He was not right. Nunning her. Mommy, he, she was in the kitchen baking a cake, and now she asked me. I wasn't even in the kitchen, but there was like an open kitchen. I was like around. And how much shall I use of, I don't know what, ingredient sugar? I said, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. I have no idea. And then she said it. If you don't tell me how much, and the cake will not turn out well, it is your fault. Is that like retard? <laughs> <laughs> like retard Bionaville. Her cake, her idea, her recipe, I have no idea. I did, uh, suddenly she was baking a cake. Not that I said, please bake a cake or nothing. I have nothing to do with that. Again, if you don't tell me how much I push, shall put in there and if the cake turns out bad, it's your fault. Mommy. <laughs> she didn't say mommy to me, but almost. What the heck? She's stupid. No, she had managed to take an airplane all the way from Germany to make to uh, you, to the United States this time. Oh my God, she'd managed it. But you couldn't do Do you understand what I'm dealing with right now? I did not say a word. Oh, then I was told that she mistreated the plants. Well, she wanted to do some gardening because that was like the dream of her life, gardening. So I allowed her to garden and that she chopped the plants off real mean. I thought someone else saw her doing that. I had no time to look. The issue is that after that, I was done. So eventually, like the next year, she wrote to me that now she wanted to come back. Yeah, because now she was lonely, right? Now she wanted to come back. Yeah, Walter was not there anymore. And, blah. and I said no. And she poured out a drama on me. I said no. And this time, I not only, I don't know if I mentioned why, but I gave her the solution. Because I couldn't handle her anymore. With a little manipulative blackmail, you know, I think German Erpresser, which went squishing you to the corner. Attitude. 
it was not the only thing, but that was the one which triggered it. It was absolutely incoherent, the way she was driving and driving. I drove, drove her through Napa Valley to my exhaustion. Behind Yaiki now this time, because this dumb car we had, the one he bought, never asked me, which car did you have, he said. Yeah, a Honda CRV. So he get himself a Honda Element, which had only two seat belts in the back and not three. And this, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is not Mexico, where no one would give a shit, or whatever. Squish all who can in it. No, that's not the United States. You can't do those things. You cannot pull out those stunts. So she, he had to go in a second car, driving super fast in the Cooper, and I driving her around Napa Valley. And that itself was not the only thing. Besides that, the seats are so bad. Man, my body was aching after these hours. That she incessantly... Hilga, talking about all the other trips she ever did, with no pause. She was absolutely ignoring what she was presenting. The entire Napa Valley region, everything that was around her, she ignored it as she was now thinking about other trips she had done in the past. Is she brain damaged? Is she derailed? What's going on? I don't know. It was hard. But the triggering point was that little blackmail thing she put out on me. So when she wrote and she wanted to come now again, now I already had made my choice. The moment she pulled out that stand and I was just observing. I said, that's it, I'm done. So when she when she wrote she wanted to visit, I told her no. And I also said, and gave her the solution. I said, instead of nagging and, you know, whatever words I used, I don't know. Nagging and expressing, I have no words right now. Instead of doing all that, which is not constructive and productive to you, why don't for once you forgive yourself? For what you've done to feel better about yourself so you don't feel the need to constantly you know nag and hurt other people and blame accuse and on and on and of course she lost me for that there was no not a solution so she never came back of course not despite and regardless i would not have allowed her yeah jesus f h christ and now it's a dot it's an end. Drop top, point shop, will I sell it? Hell nah. Four wheels, ten toes, stress low, relax, eight tracks in the council. Jeez, drive round of an endo, please keep that on the download. Well, I got no fancy features, fuzzy dice, couple speakers, radio, no receiver, gas light on, but I don't believe it. Road trips in a cappuccino, spill the coke, bag of Cheetos, and you're gonna blow like a pack of C4, blown out smoke to the boy's steamboat. Big dreams, never sleep though, bag gon' hop like an El Camino, modified, my bitch illegal, parts come cheap down in Puerto Rico. Drop top beater, quarters in the meter, cranking up the heater, cause the AC doesn't so, work. Damn. Drop top beater, call could call me Peter, shit. ask the big friend, sorry, uh -huh. love him a two seater. Uh. Drop top beater, <laughs> drop top beater. <laughs> Okay. Right. Quickie cops, spin the block, the will I road. stop? Hell nah. I got the lavish, it's special about it. I bought it, used my hundred thousand. Overheat on summer evening, she wanted title, it can't be salvaged. Seven deep, shit super crowded, go A to B, I don't do rerouting. No.